Hedgling has nearly always seen as a throwback to a golden age of craft skills. Some people get quite upset when they see the reality. They like to think of us carrying on age-old traditions with axes and billhooks in some sort of communion of a bucolic past. There are still people who use only hand tools. The 2008 National Hedging Competition at Sandringham was a good chance to see the chainsaw used in a most creative way. Hedge layers are some of the most accurate users of chainsaws. They clear out with them, they make fine cuts and trim with them. Best use them almost unconsciously. They see a job to do and they perform the action almost without thought. The most skilled part of the job is the one that's least obvious, the cutting out of surplus material. The ideal would remove everything not needed to achieve the specifications of the particular style. It's a lot easier to cut branches from the standing stem than when it's been laid. The potential for accidents in the confined settings is very high, but the injury rate is actually very low. The sheer number of times the actions are performed turn them into a kind of dance. It's very absorbing when you get into it, working in three dimensions whilst controlling the saw and keeping your balance on an even ground is difficult. It's a great workout for the body and brain. Once the stem is over, you've often got to cut part of the way through branches to bring them into line. This is often called nicking and requires a very accurate cutting. This is more typical of how hedge laying is usually portrayed and it's much more photogenic than the chainsaw work. You can see the obvious effort going in and understand what's going on. But this sequence is more typical. The chainsaw being used to prepare the stems. Most of the real skill lies in envisaging what will go where. The chainsaw gives the hedge layer more thinking time. Edge layers vary in how much work they do with edge tools. Some will always finish off all cuts with a blade. But the great virtue of using a chainsaw is the amount of time saved by not swapping between tools. But axe and billhook cuts do look better when the style shows them off, like here in this Derbyshire hedge. The Derbyshire in the middle of the two styles which feature cutting the most. All hedge layers admire the one who can use edge tools for all their cutting. But if you do that, you'll have much less time to place stems for good general appearance and state line, and general fiddling at the end.